energy companies don't want a price freeze, right? And most consumers do. Right? That's why the energy companies are against a price freeze. I mean, he's so on the side of the energy companies, Mr Speaker, we should call them the Big Seven, the Prime Minister and the Big Six energy companies. Who was it who gave us the Big Six? Yes, when Labour, when Labour first looked at this, there were almost 20 companies. But because of his stewardship, we ended up with six players. Now, they talk about a price freeze, but down the corridor, they've been voting for a price rise. That is right. They voted for a decarbonisation target that everyone accepts would rise prices. Now, if he wants a price freeze, why has he just voted for a price rise? Here's the problem. He wants a review. He wants a review on energy policy, but that's exactly what the energy companies want. A long inquiry, kicking the problem into the long grass. How will a review the reports next summer help people to pay their bills this winter? The point about voting for a price rise, he has to answer, because this is what the former Labour energy spokesman, Lord Donoghue, said in the House of Lords. And he should listen to this. He was their energy spokesman. He said this, I have never spoken against a Labour amendment in 28 years in this House, but I am troubled by the consequences for ordinary people. The amendment will raise the cost of living and is in conflict with a future price freeze. That is it from Labour's own policy spokesman of the past in the Lords. The fact is the whole country can see he's a one-trick pony and he's run out of road. Yeah.